Okay, now in the previous lesson, we made a template specifically for classrooms, got that set up, and then we made two pages out of probably a whole bunch if you were really doing this for a school. And now we need to make our image map. Now, like I said, they're not as popular as they were years ago, but they are still useful. Go into Pages and open up Facilities 1. Now, in Facilities 1, let's split the screen here. And let's go down to this area right here. I want an article right in there. So what we're going to do is go to Article. I use a lot of articles. Go into ID, and we will call this, well, let's call it Image Map. It's not really that accurate, but we'll call it Image Map. Click OK. OK, there it is. Now, we don't need the text in it, so let's delete the text. Of course, it looks like it collapsed. That's why you like to be over here so you know what you're doing. Go into your assets with our insertion point there and look down here until you find Happy Dale map right here and go ahead and select it and see it's a map. It's kind of like a blueprint and click insert. Come back over here. Now let's get back into design. Now we're going to center this thing, give it oh, a little bit of padding on the top and the bottom. Why not? Let's go back into CSS Designer and go into our source here. And let's pull that out. Click the plus sign and put in your pound sign or hashtag. And we are looking, of course, for image map. Okay. So, simply speaking, go into the text area and just say center. And then come back up here. Let's give it a little bit of margin on the top and the bottom. Since we've been using 20, let's stick to that and see what it does for us. I do like consistency when possible. Okay. Let's pull that back this way and take a peek at our handiwork. And that doesn't look too bad. Let's put a heading up here. Happy Dale Image Map. Now, what's an image map? How do we create it? Now, we only have two right now, so we'll just do those two. But you create invisible areas over portions of the image that when people click on, takes them someplace else. Now, let's go back to Files, because we're going to need our pages. And there's our Classroom 1 and 2. Come over here and select the image. Down here is the mapping area. Now, you can draw squares, circles, or ovals, or actually do any shape you want by clicking and moving and clicking and moving. Our two right now are just rectangles, so that's going to be easy. Pick it up right here. Come up here. Get in the upper left-hand corner. Get in, well, any corner you want, really. And drag down like that. Now, it's going to warn you, or it's going to advise you, that you need to put in your alt text. Now, I mentioned before, I like to do this stuff at the end of the process, so I'm just going to click through that. That's fine. And there's our first one. Let's do one more for Classroom 2. Again, it's still a rectangle. Like that. Okay, now what do we do to set it up? Well, it's just about as easy as any other graphic. We come over here and click on this button to select. And we click on this one. And there's our link right there. Now, we'll talk about targets and stuff like that later. But go ahead and click right here. I love that point too. And go to Classroom 1. Click on this one and link it to Classroom 2. Okay, proof of the pudding is in the testing. So let's go ahead and save what we have. Let's go ahead and close it. And then go into Index. Let's start with Index this time. Open up your Index file. Go up to the globe right here and pick your browser. Okay, I wonder about the facilities of the Happy Dale Child Care Facility. And so I'll go to Facilities right here. And there's Classroom 1. As you can see, it gives me a hand, meaning click me. And I click, and it takes us here. It's not done yet, but it's working. We can go back to Facilities here and click Class 2. Now, we'll probably want to add a Return To button as well as this button up here. But some people might not realize they go here, they're going to go right back to here. So we'll work on that too. But an image map, although they're not the greatest thing in the world anymore, I think are still useful and they still serve a purpose. Let's go ahead and get out of Safari for now. Let's go ahead and close this down and end up this lesson.